In this video, I would like to show you how students can collaborate using Kami to make meaning of a text. So here I have a article, so I'm just going to pretend like um, maybe the teacher has assigned um, some nonfiction reading and students together are allowed to collaborate and read together, whether that's um, remotely um, or in person. And so they can virtually collaborate on this. So they could be sitting beside each other with a device or they could be at two different homes on a device and they can still collaborate asynchronously too in real time. So we have already our article here. Um, I'm already going to think that they've already shared it. And so they're both part of the document. If you not, are not sure about that, check out the other video about how to make sure that they are sharing and collaborating on one. And now they can use their options over here. So the two that I, they're actually three, they might want to mark up or annotate and kind of determine importance together. They might want to comment and they might want to have text box and add their thinking or something on here. Um, there's also other things like drawing and shapes that they might choose to use too. So marking up is probably the first one. I can see them reading and maybe if um, they think that something is important, like the largest of the stones are nearly as long as a school bus is important. They can click markup and they have options. Probably the text highlighter, I would say, is the most easy to use with certain words. Some people like to use the box if you'd like. Um, and I can also choose a color. And maybe even the teacher is assigned um, different colors for different types of comments. So you can decide that. So I'm just going to use the yellow. And if I think that's important, I'm going to highlight it. And as you can see, it highlights for me, but also that other student would it be able to see that as well in real time. Um, you could, if you thought that something wasn't important, um, you could even strike through it. So that's another tool that you're able to use. So if I did not think this paragraph maybe was important, I could strike through it as you can see as well, and even change the color of that strike through. I want uh, go back to that one and I can even change it after I've already done it. There we go. Um, also, that's another cool tool to show you that if you hover over something you've already done, it lets you edit, whether it's the color, um, you can duplicate it, you can comment on it or delete it all together, as you can see, but also you can see who made that comment. So if you're a teacher popping in here, you know who did that. Um, the next one is you might want to comment or maybe ask a question about something. So you have to highlight that text. And maybe I did not know about this um, machine and I want to make a comment about it for my friend to read. So I can say, have you seen this machine before? I am interested in learning more about it. And that other child would see that as well as, as you can see now that there's a reply button. So um, maybe the other student is in here and they found a cool video that's appropriate about that x-ray machine and they could paste that in here for the other child to see. And so that's neat. They can determine that importance together. That's that text box. Um, next, we have, like I said, drawing. So you could physically just hand draw if um, they wanted to annotate um, something in the picture. You can, as you can see, do that as well. You can draw shapes um, if that was important and as well as that eraser if you want to erase any of those. So those are some of the tools and some ways that maybe students might collaborate together with determining importance of a text. I'm sure you can think of many ways you could use this within your very own content area. Thank you so much for watching.